He played his last professional match at Wimbledon last year, but today Marcos Bagdadis is going to answer five burning questions about retirement. Marcos, starting with, what's the best part? Well, uh, a lot of things, but uh, the best part is not waking up and having <laughs> to go and practice and having to all the time having to do something. You know, you you need to do that. You need to do that. You. So it's just more, you know, okay, I have to wake up, take my kids to school. It's, it's enjoyment. It's not uh, something that it's puni not punishment, but you know, like, yeah. What has been the toughest adjustment? Maybe, okay. I mean, nothing adjustments. No, I mean, I'm, I, I like it. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying my life right now and Maybe the toughest thing is what I miss the most is maybe playing matches like in front of crowds, you know, big crowds, interacting with fans and that adrenaline feeling. I think that's the one that maybe I miss the most, but other than that, uh, nothing. So you don't miss all those fitness workouts we saw on no, social media? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is something that you get to do now that you weren't able to do when you were playing a full schedule on tour? Uh, I mean, a couple of things. I mean, of, of course, spending more time with family, but, you know, maybe, you know, not taking care of my diet so much, you know, that's very... What's your cheat food? can be anything, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, every day is a cheat food right now, so... <laughs> so are you sweets or salty? Salty, more okay. like a pizza maybe yeah. or a burger or, yeah, uh, I like my chocolate every now and then, but not not that much. Good to know. So if you win, you're hoisting the trophy. We can also give you some chocolates here as well. Yeah, why not? All right, good Thank to you. know. Who on tour do you text most? Do you stay in touch with the most? Uh, I guess uh, Svitolina. There you go. That that <laughs> yeah. makes sense. As her coach, <laughs> yeah. Who on the uh, on the ATP side? Anybody who's still playing, who you keep in regular touch Stephanos with? Stefanos and his dad most mm -hmm. most of the times. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been instrumental? Do you talk to him often? Does he ask you for advice? Uh, not very often, but I speak more with the dad than Stefanos. Okay. I know some of the things that you have been up to since retirement. You have procreated. You have worked as a TV presenter. You are now coaching on the WTA tour. Can you give us, in a nutshell, you can plug Marcos Bagdadis. What's going on in your life? I'm trying things out <laughs> <laughs> to see what I really like doing and uh, really love doing. And um, yeah, I mean, commentating at the ATP Tour Finals was great for Cosmote, Greek TV. It was especially when Stefanos won the, that the was title. Nice. Yeah, it was, it was amazing for us. I mean, for us, for, for the country and the TV, TV channel. And then, yeah, coaching a bit, helping out a bit, uh, Lina Svitolina. Um, doing well there. I mean, great relationship. Everything's going good. We didn't like the, too much the results in Australia, but we'll, we'll, we'll try and find a way to, to, to improve. And, of course, Championships Tour. I mean, Champions Tour, it's, it's something that, uh, what I said before, is something that I love because I can interact with fans. I can get that adrenaline feeling that I miss, and uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, it's uh, life is great. Spending time with family, with the kids, playing some tennis with my yeah. my older daughter. Pretty, she's pretty good. Yeah, she can she can hit the ball. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, I'm just uh, enjoying life and uh, planning to keep it that way. <laughs> okay, one bonus question for you: Now that you're home more often and you have three kids at home. What does your wife now get to ask you to do that maybe you didn't do when you were traveling all the time? Change some nappies. <laughs> no. Diapers. <laughs> Diapers. Uh, cook, maybe. Oh, yeah, okay. uh, I mean, cook. Just help out in the kitchen and then spend more time with the kids, take them to school. Uh, basically, in the afternoon, I try to go to a park with them or go to play, t play some tennis, you know do stuff with them and uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, she's not demanding, not too much. She's a great, great wife. That is awesome to hear. And with all of that going on, we're glad you made time for us here in Delray Beach. Marcos Bagdadis, thanks so much. Thank you for having me.